we have discussed the adjustment entries this is a brief summary which will be helpful when you refer while solving the problems as how to do the adjustment entries now i have divided this table into three columns i have taken the item which has an adjustment and also i have named the next column as given as trial balance and given as adjustment now what exactly it means for example we said the adjustment entry for closing stock can be done before preparing the trial balance and after preparing the trial balance so if an adjustment entry is done before preparing the trial balance then we say the item is given in trial balance the item is given in trial balance in indicates that the adjustment entry is already passed before preparing the trial balance hence we say the item is given in trial balance now suppose the adjustment entry is not passed and trial balance is already prepared then you have to do the adjustment in this way and for that we say if the item is given as adjustment generally when an item is given as adjustment you will see these items along with the amounts as statements after the trial balance you see these items as statements along with the amount to be debited or credited as statements after the trial balance so you for, for example how to use this the uh, what you can say table for your reference if you see closing stock in a problem you will see you may see closing stock in trial balance or you may see closing stock as adjustment so when you see closing stock in trial balance you will give it only one treatment the treatment is you will you will record closing stock on the balance sheet as set side i have used the short form bsa now similarly if a closing stock is not adjusted and you have to do the adjustment then you will take it in the balance sheet as set side once and also you will record it in the trading account on the credit side completing the double entry aspect of one debit and one credit now next item would be depreciation if depreciation is appearing in trial balance the treatment would be you will be taking depreciation it being expense in pnl account debit side suppose depreciation is given as adjustment in the problem then the treatment would be you will be taking it as an expense in the pnl account debit side and simultaneously you would be deducting it from that's what i thought balance sheet asset side minus that is deduct from the concerned asset for example it is depreciation of building then you would be minusing that amount from building if it is related to machinery you would be minusing it from machinery etc now outstanding expense or expense payable one and the same or expense due etc now if you find outstanding expense given in trial balance you will be taking it only in balance sheet liability side a short form i mentioned it as bsl that is balance sheet liability now if you find an outstanding expense in the problem given in your given in adjustment then the treatment is you will be taking it in the balance sheet liability because outstanding expense is a personal account then the second treatment would be either in trading account or pnl account on debit side you would be taking if at all the expense already exists then outstanding would be added to it then coming to prepaid expense or unexpired expense if it is given in trial balance you will be recording it in balance sheet asset side only if it is given in adjustment you will be recording it on the balance sheet asset side and similarly in trading account or pnl account you will be deducting this prepaid expense on debit side from concerned expense let us say salary prepaid so you will be deducting prepaid salary from salary on the debit side of pnl account because salary being indirect expense it will appear in pnl account as you know then outstanding or accrued income 
the treatment would be it would be taken in balance sheet as set side if you if it is given in the trial balance if it is given in adjustment it will be taken on balance sheet as set side or recorded on balance sheet as set side and also recorded on the credit side of pnl account now next is income received in advance the treatment is if given in trial balance it will appear in balance sheet liability side and if it is given as adjustment the one treatment would be it will be recorded on the balance sheet liability side and the second effect would be it will be recorded on the pnl account credit side as a deduction from related income so we will move on to the next things